beer, America's favorite happy hour beverage. But lurking in that long neck bottle is a potential eruption similar to this. What do beer and the A-bomb have in common? Does everyone know what beer tapping is? It's sort of interesting, uh, man. It's a watch. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh my God. I owe you a beer, by the way. <laughs> Please. The detonation is the end result of a chain reaction beginning the exact moment the beer bottle is tapped. What actually happens is when I hit this bottle on top, a shock wave goes down through the beer, and that actually affects the bubbles. And those tiny bubbles that form inside the beer actually begin to fragment. Physicists studying the reaction of beer tapping determine that the laws of physics at work inside the beer bottle are the same ones that begin milliseconds after an atomic explosion. CO2 starts entering those bubbles. The CO2 actually makes them lighter, so they get larger, lighter, and they float to the top. But that makes it easier for the CO2 to get into them, so that process sort of feeds on itself. You get more and more bubbles moving upwards rapidly, exploding out like a mushroom cloud in a nuclear explosion. 